The other day, I took my friend Adam out to lunch, and uh, we, we went to a fast food restaurant, and this fast food restaurant has a play place, right? And I don't know if a kid in this play place thought I was encroaching on his turf, or if I was invading his hood, because this kid saw me, ran out of the ball pit with a ball, and just <laughs> hop this at my head, and nails me right in the head. You can't miss this, son of a bitch, okay? I have a really large head. I don't have dreams. I have movies. So he just, he hits me. I look up, I see it's a kid, I don't care. I got street cred, I'm gonna whoop this kid's ass. Now, Adam, my friend, he's my friend, he supports me, but he technically kind of works for me, so he's like, all right, I guess we're beating up seven-year-olds today. And he starts walking out too. And I start walking after this kid. Now, apparently, this play place must have had an incident of some kind because there was a security guard at the play place. And the security guard sees Adam walking towards me, goes, hey, you can't come in here. Then he looks at me and goes, yeah, you can come on in here, that's fine. So I walk into the play place and I'm looking for the kid that hit me with the ball. And as I'm looking, all the other kids see me and just start clapping. And they're clapping, they're, they're looking at me and they're just clapping, I'm like what the hell are they clapping for? I realize why they're clapping, they think I'm a new mascot. Yeah, they, they know Ron McDonald and the hamburger, but now apparently there's the McNugget midget, okay? Because they think I'm just gonna run in there and be like, I'm gonna make it rain, sweet and sour sauce. Okay, right there. I see the kid that hit me with the ball. He sees me, he panics. He runs up the slide up into the tubes. Now he's up into the tubes, he thinks he's safe. You dumb you're not safe because I'm four foot four. I could run in those tubes, okay? I get in those tubes. I'm like Super Mario and he got the star. Just da, 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 da. I run up the tubes, right? And I see the kid. I run up to him. I grab him and I start dragging him out by his little stride, right? And I start yelling at this kid like, hey, why'd you hit me with the ball? That was messed up. You shouldn't hit me with the ball. While I'm yelling at him, his dad sees what's going on. His dad is pissed. His dad's walking up behind me, large dude. He's got a mission, all right? I don't see the dad. My buddy Adam, he sees the dad coming right at me, and he does what any good guy friend would do. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> So the dad runs up, grabs me hard by the shoulder, spins me around, sees my face and goes, I was not expecting that. <laughs> Sorry, you should not say that to a grown man. I'm, I'm 34, you should never say that. The only time you should say, I was not expecting that, is if like you're making out with a chick, you pull off her skirt, she's got a dick. I was not expecting that, okay? I... And then I realized he thought I was a kid attacking his kid, turned me around, and was like, I was not expecting that. Now the dad's in this weird position where he's not quite sure what to do. So he looks at me, looks at his kid, looks at me, looks back at his kid and goes, I can do nothing for you, boy. And he just walks away. Because <laughs> he wanted to hit me. He wanted to hit me, but you can't punch a dwarf. That's a hate crime. He let me go. There's more funny where that came from. Subscribe right here, right now, and you won't miss another laugh.